crime in America. We're going to stop it. They completely overhaul DOJ to investigate every radical, out-of-control prosecutor in America for their illegal, racist, and reverse enforcement of the law. I will have federal law enforcement prosecute the countless gun crimes committed by gang members, drug dealers, and convicted felons. Our adversaries are not blind to the weaknesses of our leaders. The question then becomes, why are we? I didn't want him to not. I didn't read it to him. What about drugs in China? Do you have a drug problem? No, 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 we have no drug problem. Think of it, 1.4 billion people. No, 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 we have no drug problem. I say, so uh, how'd you pull that one off? Becoming a drugged out country. I don't know if you know it or not. I said, you have a drug problem. No, no, no. He looked like, you know, like what the hell kind of a stupid question is that do we have? Of course we don't have a drug problem. I said, what do you attribute to? Quick trial. If you're a drug dealer and if you get caught selling drugs, they give you an immediate trial, immediate. And then sadly, you're executed. Remember this. Every drug dealer kills a minimum of 500 people during his or her lifetime. I don't know that this country is ready for it, but until you have the death penalty for drug dealers, you're never going to solve the problem. You're just kidding yourself. I'm also going to indemnify our great police officers and law enforcement officials throughout the United States to protect them from being destroyed by the radical left for taking strong action on crime. And to further deter these barbaric criminals and help you defend yourself and your family, I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk delivering national right to carry reciprocity. Because I did not want to be in a position that they looked at Trump and weren't going to look at me. Firm conclusion, I did not break the law. I should have done that. If I go back, I didn't have the responsibility to that. That was my staff was supposed to do that. And it was high classified. Didn't have any of that red stuff on it. You know what I mean? Around the corners. Because, uh, so, you know, I've been working tirelessly in this deal. And if you have a, a meaningful Second Amendment, which you have, it's under siege. It has to go across state lines. You have to be able to go across state lines with Second Amendment privileges. <laughs> And we will restore free speech in America. We... On day one, I will sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto our children. Most important election in the history of our country. You know, I... Some people have had enough, and they're going to vote accordingly. Farmers, soldiers, and laborers forged the greatest nation in the history of the world. But now, we are a nation in decline. But we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Hard-working patriots like you, who built this country, and it's hard-working patriots like you, who are going to save our country, we will fight for America like no one has ever fought before. 2024 is our final battle. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will protect our Second Amendment. We will evict crooked Joe Biden from the White House on November 5th, 2024. That's when it begins. It's not just about political one-upmanship. It's about ensuring that a man holding the most powerful office in the world is fully capable of performing its duties. It's time to enjoy your retirement. Well, the response has been... Um over the top. I think that, uh, as you know, initially, and it's got to stop. Man, with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. Memory is so bad, I can let you speak. My memory, take a look at what I've done since I've become president. How'd that happen? 
You know, I guess I just forgot what was going on. Yeah. The federal government has failed Texans and Americans. In hey, President, we need to remove him. That's the choice. It's one or the other. You can't have it both ways.